Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be comparing QuickBooks versus Zoho Books. Which is better for your accounting software solutions for your small business or really no matter what size your business is. That's what we're going to be breaking down here in today's video, taking a look at the pricing, pros and cons, and really everything you need to know when comparing and trying to decide between either Zoho Books or QuickBooks. Now, it's no surprise that Intuit QuickBooks and even Zoho Books are very popular popular accounting software solutions for managing your bookkeeping and accounting in your business. Now, of course, QuickBooks is probably the most popular overall uh, business accounting software. And I do want to mention before we dive into the specific comparisons, if you do end up wanting to try out QuickBooks or decide to go with QuickBooks, you can get a special discount at that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash QuickBooks. And that will take you right over to a QuickBooks special offer page. Of course, this offer does depend on whenever you're watching this video and whatever current offer they are offering, but it is a special discount uh, to viewers of this channel uh, if you want to or are interested in signing up with QuickBooks. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the comparison. So of course, QuickBooks and Zoho Books both offer accounting and bookkeeping for small businesses. They also offer a variety of different features built into both of their platforms. First, we're going to take a quick look over at QuickBooks. Again, we will also be breaking down specific comparisons as we go through each different key uh, point between the two software. So when we're comparing pricing as well. So taking a look at general overall features, like what is QuickBooks? Of course, it is a accounting software and bookkeeping as well so that you can manage and have more visibility into your finances. In terms of the specific features on QuickBooks, of course, they allow you to manage and trans and manage your transactions, of course, with tracking expenses, uh, tax deductions, job costing, bill management, uh, tracking inventory, invoicing and payments there. They also have invoicing as another feature as well. Uh, taking a look here, you can track your overall profit and loss. Of course, you can see your receipts for tax time and just overall more clarity into your business with their custom uh, reports that you can dive into as well. Uh, taking a look at your profit and loss statements, whether you want that monthly, quarterly, annually, uh, really you can dive deep into their reporting features within QuickBooks as well, which is really nice. And if you want to add on additional features like payroll or time tracking, uh, you can also do that as well. Uh, so that is QuickBooks in a nutshell in general. Uh, they offer, of course, accounting solutions uh, for your small business. Now, in terms of the other features for Zoho Books, Zoho as a company overall offers a variety of different business software solutions uh, for business owners. So not only do they have accounting software, they also offer a variety of other uh, products suites in their overall uh, system. Now, if you're looking at Zoho Books, all you need is just Zoho Books. You don't necessarily have to use any of their other software that they offer, but it is worth mentioning that they do offer a variety of other software, such as inventory management, uh, CRM, mail, uh, other project management, expenses, and a bunch of other different uh, detailed uh, sales products such as CRM and other different marketing, customer service, a variety of different other business software uh, that Zoho also offers. But you don't necessarily need that if you just want to use their accounting and bookkeeping software, you can just use uh, Zoho Books. So I just want to clarify that there that uh, if you want to use all their software, they do have a Zoho One Suite. Uh, as an option there, if you sort of want everything in your business under Zoho One, they do offer that. Uh, but just for the accounting specifically, you can just use Zoho Books. Now, in terms of what Zoho Books has to offer, of course, they are an online accounting software, manages your finances, business workflows. Of course, that is their overall sales pitch here. As you can see, the, you can track your cash flows, your uh, accounts receivables, payables, really a lot of the similar type of thing that you could expect with a platform like QuickBooks as well. Uh, so Zoho Books, also offers a lot of the same type of features such as income and expense, tracking your overall top expenses. They do also both have apps that you can use as well. Uh, so on your mobile device, you can download an app to manage things on the go uh, with both Zoho Books and QuickBooks. Now, of course, both of those apps may be a little bit more limited. I know at least personally on the Intuit QuickBooks app, especially, you know, 
you're not going to necessarily have all the same features that you would on your laptop. And, you know, really the same could be generally said as well for most apps in general, Zoho Books, uh, you know, again, similar scenario. You're going to have more features, of course, on uh, the web version on a you know, laptop, desktop computer. You're going to have more features in general, but they do both have mobile apps. If you want to see things on the go or at least try to do some stuff on the go, again, you know, your best bet is to just do it on the computer uh, at the end of the day, but their mobile apps are still solid. They both offer them at least. Uh, in terms of Zoho Books and what else they offer on their accounting software, of course, they also have... Uh, tax compliance as well. And again, like I mentioned before, they do have an overall integrated business platform. I will say that Zoho does have more uh, features in terms of like other business platform integrations compared to QuickBooks. QuickBooks really is primarily just a accounting software. Of course, they do also offer things like time tracking and payroll, but really that's all more focused about still your finances, whereas Zoho offers a bunch of other different business platforms. Now, you could still integrate uh, with other external apps like QuickBooks does have a lot of external integrations with other software, which is nice. Maybe if you're already using some other software solutions out there, QuickBooks does have a lot of integrations, but it's not underneath the same company. It's, you know, if you want things all under the same platform, the same company, Zoho is better in that regard in terms of other more direct integrations versus third-party integrations, uh, just to clarify that difference there. Uh, so looking at the specific features, of course, with Zoho Books, you do have, of course, payables, receivables. Uh, you can do um, bills as well as managing invoices. So you can uh, create invoices as well. Uh, as you can see here, they also offer banking. So you can uh, link your bank account as well. You can do that with both of these platforms. Uh, you also have time tracking, contacts, reports, uh, all the things that you would typically want within a accounting software solution uh, with Zoho Books. Again, we already mentioned those aspects. Now, getting into the pricing. Of course, this pricing as is accurate as in the making of today's video. Be sure to check out Zoho Books or QuickBooks if you want to see the most current and update pricing because pricing plans are always subject to change. But in general, you know, at least the different structures, I will say QuickBooks is definitely more expensive. Now, if we dive into the specific price of what kind of plans they offer. Uh, QuickBooks Online, of course, they do have their Simple Start, Essentials Plus, and Advanced plans. Most people can get away with the Simple Start, but even at the Simple Start pricing, it is still um, more expensive uh, than Zoho Books. If we take a look at Zoho Books, they actually do offer a completely free plan. Now, I will say, if we dive into the pricing page, there is a small caveat with that free pricing plan is that it is for businesses with with revenue under 50,000 USD per year. So if you're underneath that threshold, then you can actually use Zoho Books completely for free, which is really cool. But if you your business is above that range, then you know you will have to pay monthly for them. They do have monthly and yearly subscriptions on Zoho Books. Uh, they do have even more plan options, uh, at least if you're looking at the standard professional, premium, elite, and ultimate plans. Uh, of course, you do save a little bit of money if you go with their yearly option compared to their monthly option. But even if you go for the monthly option at the standard price, Zoho Books is cheaper uh, than going with the simple start after that initial discount period or the extended potential extended discount period that you can get with my link below for QuickBooks. Either way, uh, whichever platform you go with in the long run, QuickBooks would still be more expensive in general, uh, unless they drastically change their pricing structure uh, in the future. QuickBooks is still a little bit more uh, pricey uh, than going with a platform like Zoho Books. But at the end of the day, like uh, it really is a pretty marginal difference, right? If you're looking at it even right now here in this video, if you're paying monthly for both after that initial uh, discount period, it's still only a $10 difference per month, which isn't massive really uh, in the grand scheme of things. So ultimately, like if you want a free plan, then definitely go with Zoho Books just if you're underneath that revenue threshold, just if you 
are interested and want to use Zoho Books and you maybe like their software, of course, you can easily, you know, sign up for trials and, and test things out with both of these platforms uh, as well. If you just want to test them out, uh, they do have both ways to test them out. But in the long run, if you're looking for something that does have a completely free plan, then you know, Zoho Books is better for the person who just wants a completely free plan um, because ultimately QuickBooks just doesn't really have that. Of course, they don't have a just completely free plan. Uh, they do have some trials uh, depending on when you're looking at their software. Uh, but yeah, so that is something to consider there. Uh, but generally, you're going to have just an extended discount period with QuickBooks and then you're going to be paying their their regular monthly fees. So that's something to consider. Uh, again, it's not huge difference in price, but if you do want the free plan, then Zoho Books has a completely free plan available, which is really cool. Similar to another platform I've compared on the channel uh, before, which is like Wave Accounting is another good like free option, similar to Zoho Books in terms of offering free accounting solutions. I did recently just do a whole roundup of all the best free accounting uh, software on my channel as well, if you're interested in that. But Zoho Books is a good option for that just because not a lot of full suite accounting softwares even offer that. But again, if you're over that threshold, then, you know, obviously you have to look elsewhere, at least for comparing uh, their paid plans. But in general, you know, I would say QuickBooks Online and both Zoho Books are good options for accounting. You know, personally, I lean a bit more towards QuickBooks. Just I really like their overall user interface and they are the most popular platform for a reason in general. Uh, I really like their ability to, you know, view things on their mobile app as well with their profit and loss statements. Uh, being able to dive deep into the reporting uh, is really nice with QuickBooks. Uh, again, QuickBooks really is like the gold standard uh, for small business accounting and just accounting in general. Uh, so that's where I lean towards. But again, if you want a free option, then Zoho Books can be good. And their paid solution is still uh, pretty solid as well. Again, if you're over that revenue threshold, uh, then Zoho Books could be another good alternative to QuickBooks, uh, especially if you are looking to save a little bit of money because even on the paid plans, it is still a little bit cheaper uh, currently with Zoho Books as well, or if you want that overall end-to-end -end integration, if you want to migrate all of your productivity needs, uh, then Zoho definitely beats out QuickBooks in terms of all their other products that Zoho has. Again, even if you go with their all-in-one suite like Zoho One, that can at least integrate everything into one software, or if you don't need that, you can just go with Zoho Books and pay for that individually. Uh, so Zoho Books, another good platform, you know, worth checking out. Again, I lean more towards QuickBooks, but both are really good uh, accounting software solutions for your small business. So guys, again, looking at the integrations, they do still have a lot of integrations as well, uh, even with third parties uh, as well for Zoho Books. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful when you're trying to decide between you know, Zoho Books or uh, Intuit's QuickBooks. Uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button. Again, if you do want to uh, get a special discount with QuickBooks, you can go and check out my link down in the description box below. That's brendanvalesky.com forward slash QuickBooks. Uh, either platform you go with does not matter to me really at the end of the day. Choose what is best for you in your specific situation. And, you know, hope, hopefully you found this video helpful. Guys, if you did, again, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell as well, so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, Zoho Books versus QuickBooks, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.